Welcome to one of NavFAC's Career Compass videos. Today's topic is the Drexler Civet Team Performance Model. The Drexler Civet Team Performance Model provides a step by step framework for understanding team development. The model illustrates team development as seven steps four to create the team, and three to describe increasing levels of sustained performance. Each step represents a group of predictable issues that a team must recognize and master to become a high-performing team. The steps are 1. Orientation 2. Trust building 3. Goal clarification 4. Commitment 5. Implementation 6. High performance 7. Renewal Let's discuss each step one by one. Step one, orientation. When teams are forming, it is common to wonder why we are here and how each member fits in. The primary purpose of orientation is to allow team members to find their place and bearings. Once the members know the answers to these questions, they will feel more connected and are more likely to participate in achieving the team's goals. How do you know when orientation challenges are resolved? You will see purpose, team identity, membership. And how do you know when orientation challenges are unresolved? You will see disorientation, fear. Step two, trust building. After the first step, people want to know who they will work with. Trust building helps team members share information freely about what they intend, what they can or can't do, and what they need from others. The interdependency of two or more people trusting one another is an integral part of a team's ability to succeed. How do you know when trust building challenges are resolved? You will see mutual regard, forthrightness, reliability, and how do you know when trust building challenges are unresolved? You will see caution, facade, mistrust. Step three, goal clarification. In step three, people ask, what are we doing? Which is a more specific question than the larger purpose question asked during orientation. During this stage of a team's life, clear understanding of the job is required as well as agreements about goals and specific deliverables. Team members need to identify both the long and short-term goals of an organization and what they are trying to achieve together. How do you know when goal clarification challenges are resolved? You will see explicit assumptions, clear integrated goals, shared vision. And how do you know when goal clarification challenges are unresolved? You will see apathy, skepticism, irrelevant competition. Step four, commitment. Commitment is the turning point of the model because teams that lack commitment create ambiguity about direction and priorities. One way to create commitment is to clarify roles. This can be done using a RACI chart that outlines who is responsible, accountable, consulted, and informed for each task. How do you know when commitment challenges are resolved? You will see decisions made, allocated resource, assigned roles. And how do you know when commitment challenges are unresolved? You will see dependence, resistance. Step five, implementation. Teams turn the corner when they begin to implement work and settle on who does what, when, and where. Timing and schedule dominate this stage. It is about the unfolding of the work and having the planning, scheduling, and monitoring processes in place to keep things running on track. How do you know when implementation challenges are resolved? You will see clear processes, alignment, disciplined execution, and how do you know when implementation challenges are unresolved? You will see conflict and confusion, misalignment, 
Missed deadlines. Step 6. High performance. When people on a team trust one another, the quality of the relationships flow over into high performance, which elevates the entire team. When methods are mastered, a team can begin to change its goals and flexibly respond to the environment. The team can say, wow, and surpass expectations. How do you know when high performance challenges are resolved? You will see spontaneous interaction, synergy, surpassing results. And how do you know when high performance challenges are unresolved? You will see overload, disharmony. Step 7. Renewal. The renewal stage involves taking a step back to assess the team, work quality, and processes. It's about coping with changes in team membership, the nature of the work, and the environment. It also includes acknowledging and appreciating the energy invested in the work so far. Renewal doesn't happen only at the end of a project cycle. Assessing occurs continuously, including transition points, milestone completion, fundamental changes in direction, team member changes, or shifts in external circumstances. How do you know when renewal challenges are resolved? You will see recognition, change mastery, staying power. And how do you know when renewal challenges are unresolved? You will see boredom, burnout. Before we wrap up, remember that Successful teams use a roadmap. The drexler sibit Team Performance Model provides a step-by-step -step framework for understanding team development. The model illustrates team development as seven steps. Each step represents a group of predictable issues that a team must recognize and master to become a high-performing team. Use the model as a guide when you build a team, are part of a team, or spot challenging team dynamics. Thank you for viewing this video. We hope that you gleaned useful and helpful information. If you have any questions, please contact your local BD17 representative or contact HQ's BD17 at NAVFACHQ Total Force Development at Navy.mil. To receive credit for your self-certification, please follow the directions on this slide.